In the series of videos, we have been discussing about the fertilization process in sea urchins. All the previous videos links are in the description. Now in this video, we will be discussing about the slow blocks to polyspermy, which includes the cortical granule reaction. In this reaction, the barrier is made in the form of fertilization envelope on the egg membrane, which leads to blocking of additional sperms. Here in this diagram, we can see the egg has got jelly on the outside. There are cortical granules inside the cell. It has got egg cell membrane on the inside and we see it has got vitelline membrane on the outside. When the first successful sperm gets through these barriers by launching the acrosomal reaction as shown in the diagram, then within no time the first blocks to polyspermy comes into play, which we have already discussed in the previous video, that is the first blocks to polyspermy. But electrical blocks to polyspermy or we can say fast blocks to polyspermy gradually vanishes. And then comes the slow blocks to polyspermy. That is the permanent solution to block polyspermy. In the mechanism of slow blocks to polyspermy, we see the sperm releases many soluble factors. And these factors are able to activate the tyrosine kinase. If we see it diagrammatically, the sperm releases factors which turn on the tyrosine kinase. The activated tyrosine kinase further activates the PLC. This PLC in turn cleaves the membrane bound PIP2 into two components DAG and IP3. The DAG diacylglycerol remains attached to the membrane, while as IP3 installed trace phosphate disassociates and gets to the endoplasmic reticulum, while it happens to open the calcium ion channels with which the calcium ions are pumped out of endoplasmic reticulum to the cytoplasm. The release of calcium into the cytoplasm leads to the increase in the intracellular calcium levels, which aids in the exocytosis of cortical granules. So upon exocytosis, these cortical granules release many types of proteins and enzymes, which helps in making the fertilization envelope and hyaline membrane. It releases CGSP, an enzyme that cleaves the proteins linking the vitelline envelope to the cell membrane. It also releases transglutaminase, proteoliacin and many other proteins. Then we see hydrogen peroxide is produced by the sea urchin egg, which eventually forms OVOP. It is the UDX1 urchin dual oxidase which drives the conversion of molecular oxygen into hydrogen peroxide. It is from here where from this hydrogen peroxide comes. Now the TG and OVOP adds up together and cross links the proteins and forms the fertilization envelope. Furthermore OVOP or we can say overperoxidase also interacts with proteoliacin which effectively tethers overperoxidases to the vitelline layer. Furthermore we see by the presence of H2O2 generated by an egg oxidase, overperoxidase catalyzes the formation of covalent dityrosine bonds between proteins which again hardens the fertilization envelope thus ensuring that no additional sperm sneaks into the egg. So this is how the slow blocks to polyspermy comes into play. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.